Hey, what's up? Frank Strat 86. Um, I've been having uh, some people asking me in two of my videos of, um, if one of the lines I'm playing is a bass, and if I'm using one of my effects pedals to create a bass sound, and I just want to get this out there that, no, I'm using a technique called slap guitar. It's the same thing as slap bass, is just adapted to the guitar. Um, both in my uh, WH10 version 2 demo and my Fuzzy Lady and Boss PS3 demo, I've played uh, a certain line that I was asked if that was a bass, and I'll just play that really quickly just because I never actually showed on video what I was playing. So, this is what it was. <laughs> pretty simple line, I'm not doing much in the way of movement. Um, so I figured, heck, why not, let's make a little lesson to start people up on a slap guitar if they want to learn. And uh, I created something that was um, both easy to start with, but challenging enough that you stay interested in it. Uh, basically, my left hand technique does not really change all that much. Uh, my right hand technique does so let me just play really quickly um, the line that I made up that I'll be teaching and uh, and then I'll slow it down and say what I'm doing for each piece so <laughs> So I just want to make a point that when I'm doing this, I know it looks like I'm hitting the crap out the strings, but actually I'm I'm really not. Uh, I'm just I get into it, but I'm not hitting the strings too hard because I one don't want to lose control of what I'm doing, and two I'm not trying to ex make my strings pop and explode and kill everyone. So uh, this line is it's a pretty cool line. What you want to do is, there's two ways you can do the thumping technique. You can either completely mimic a bass player, which may take more time, or you can actually tilt to the side and kind of thump that way. I tend to mimic the bass players more with this. So I start by thumping on the uh, on B, on the low E, which I, I mostly do most of my slap and pop with the first uh, few strings here, the lower strings. So it just goes bump. So the next note that I'm playing there, I'm, I'm plucking it, and the next note is a is a G. So I'm playing a. So both together again, just. Okay, simple enough. Um, the next part of it, after I'm doing, I'm just. And what I'm doing is, I'm playing, I'm thumping and plucking the same spot, but I'm muting both strings out. So you just want to kind of do that slowly until you, you get it into the groove. So, that together. You know, I'm just, just kind of doubling up on it a little bit. It's just... It's just a thump, pluck, thump. So forgive me, I just have to break it down a little bit better than that. So, so far we've got B, G, thump, pluck, thump. Okay, so after that, just kind of, I'll, I'll play again, just... Okay, so after that what I'm doing is... I'm just going a half step um, down from G. So. Okay. So, once again, let me break it down so it's coherent. It's just, uh, B, G, thump, pluck, thump, half step down, 
and then I'm plucking on a D on from the, on the A string. And after that, I am what I'm doing is like I was saying, left hand techniques usually don't change too much unless you incorporate slam it down on the strings or something. Uh, after that, I'm just I'm thumping again with the open and I'm hammering down from an open E to a G. So it's hammering down from open E to G, hitting the fifth, which is uh, D, and then doing the same thing open E to A, and then hitting the fifth again, which is E. So make it coherent again. So slow that down one more time just so you can just practice along. Okay, so like I said, what you want to remember to do is not whack the crap out the strings if you can help it. That just takes time. Slow things down. And uh, if you got questions, you know, you know where to find me. And uh, I hope that helped. Thanks.